Okay, thank you. Oh, I didn't expect it. seems like 20 year old. She had a 20 year old. Why? Very, very well aged. If not work, you're now I know y'all don't know what you're talking about. I do know. I'm because I'm I'm concerned no, about how good. much she's twirling one. that thing. Yeah, you're not supposed to do all that. <laughs> what she does, you're supposed to do all that. There's a line. Okay, so I was watching the real that show mm -hmm. and Tia, that's Tia, Tamara. right, Tamara. So she was talking about how the legs on the wine yeah, tell us you how. See, legs. right now, the yeah, streaks the, that comes down see. after you twirl see, it, the more legs, the more alcohol, alcohol yeah. content it has. It's why do I know this? I just watched really? this like two days ago. Yeah, it is. That's why I was watching. She was just kept. So that probably that's ain't that alcoholic because there ain't no legs on that. No, there are legs. Not that much. It's not fuzzy and frizzy like. <laughs> there are legs. it's your first time coming in just go ahead and make sure you subscribe share and also um, click that little bell on the bottom so that you can get any videos that I put out okay this corner is just a space to open the the platform to talk about different things but my ultimate goal is to be able to encourage and motivate just basically going through life Okay, let me just put it that way. So that's basically what Peace Corner is supposed to be. Um, and so I'm really glad for today being the first video. Today is my birthday and I'm just grateful. Hey, hey, hey. So as you saw in my introduction, um, as you saw in my birthday celebration last year, I had the opportunity to spend a birthday dinner with two of my girlfriends I remember how um, difficult it was for me to actually plan that dinner not because it it was so many of us but just because I I, I just contemplated really having that dinner I remember we had talked about it for about a month or so and then as the day came closer and closer I was going through certain things that put me down so much that I almost decided not to have that dinner and now that I think about it a year later I am so grateful that those friends really encouraged me to have a day to myself to have a moment for myself and to celebrate my birthday not that I do I have in a, in the past not that I don't um, celebrate my birthday but what I'm trying to say is as simple as it seemed it was so difficult for me to just stop and take a moment for myself as an individual as a wife as a mother as a person to just appreciate myself and just give myself some time for a few hours it wasn't even a whole day it was just a few hours and I have I, I I'm so grateful because fast forward a year into 2020 guess what we can't do that restaurants are closed this virtual stuff I'm just I'm not even up to date on that yet because I've had no reason to do anything virtual, anything. And I don't know when the next time I'll be able to have this moment again with friends and family. And that's what I wanted to speak on today. We hear this all the time, day in and day out. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. 
but it is real. And in the midst of this pandemic, it has become very real to a lot of people around the world. We have to really be careful in the way we spend our time every day, the people we spend our time with, the things we spend our time on, the things we allow to take up our energy, our minds. I'm not gonna lie to you. I woke up this morning and I was not in the best of moods. I wasn't, but I started to look at that video after a friend sent it to me to wish me happy birthday. And it brought a sense of appreciation back into my heart. You have to appreciate the day. You have to be grateful and thankful for the day, for the moment. You have to just live in that moment and just make it the best that you can make it because tomorrow is not promised. That video changed my mood all over just instantly because we are all humans. We all have the capacity to just sink very low. And sometimes it takes someone's smallest statement or something they say to you to change that mood. If you didn't learn anything in this video, I just want you to take away Tomorrow is not promised. Make every day count. Make every day the best that you can. You have to be content with wherever you are in life. It's difficult. I'm not saying that it's not. It's very difficult. But when we learn to be appreciative, content, and grateful for where we are in life, we don't spend every day just sulking in our emotions and just feeling sorry for ourselves. We have to learn to pick ourselves up so we can move on every day in our best condition and just be the best version of us. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. It's May 5th. It's cloudy outside. But guess what? I got up this morning I dolled up myself the best way I can and I'm in the car talking to you guys. There's one thing I've learned from life and experience and 33 years of, of living. You can't undo every day. You can't redo every day. There are moments that pass you by that you cannot redo. You cannot undo. So choose to make it the best. And I just want to say thank you to my girlfriend who sent me this video, to the people who wished me happy birthday. And as I always say, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. You just don't know what other people are going through. And sometimes that little bit of kindness that you show them, it goes a long way. Stay blessed and I will see you next time.